It's Monday, May 18th. It's about 8.25 in the morning. I've been working on sales taxes and Larry's getting ready to go to Hardy's. He needs to get some gas. Oh no, we missed the road. Bye. found these instructions online on how to build a carpenter bee trap and I'll show you the link where we found them. I'll just put it in the next frame. So far we've got two cut and a hole, a big hole in the end and one hole in the side. Now we're waiting for the uh, drill to charge. While we're waiting on the drill to charge the batteries, Larry's going to drill the holes in the lids where we attach them to the wood. This drill would have been nice to drill the holes with, but the piece of wood wouldn't fit in there. It was bigger than what the drill could handle. But it should work good for the lids. We're making two. That's all we had enough wood for. I don't know if I'll be able to talk him into making two more when we find some more wood or not. It'll be a while. Maybe we just went. He's punching the screw holes where it will attach to the wood. And then he'll drill the center hole again for the B to go through. We got that one drilled already. Looks good. Hot in the shop, we came out here by the sink to finish this up where there's a breeze or at least shade. Okay, put the other lid on. There's one that Mari put the put the eye screw in it so we can hang it. We say they're fifteen dollars, and uh, we just made this out of things we had on hand scraps. So hopefully we save thirty dollars. But if somebody doesn't want to go to all this trouble, and don't have all these things laying around, then they can go to the Etsy store at the website and buy them. Is that all right? Mm-hmm. That covered his hole up too, so maybe he'll get on in here. Is that right now? That looks good. Yeah, there's a hole on every side. We'll hope when he comes back he goes in that instead of our post. Four, and we're done with the uh, carpenter bee traps. Yay! Now to town to eat. How do you feel about going to Shoney's? Suits me. We came to Shoney's for lunch, so I just thought I'd give you a different view of it today. It was really good. Back here at the flower barn, um, Larry wanted to get some watermelon. I can't remember. What did you get? Watermelon. You got some watermelon seed. Couldn't come to town without going to Walmart and the Dollar Tree. We got all this algae in the pool. Larry got a new scoop today. The other one had a hole in it. Try it and get it dipped out. Time being, we don't have a swimming tool, pool so much as we have a farm pond. <laughs> That's a mess. We, we could put uh, chemicals in to kill all the algae, but that might kill the goldfish we have in there. So we're, for the time being, he's just dipping. It's just a lot of it. It's a pretty pool when it's uncovered and, and cleaned. 
We just, uh, when we're gone all summer, it's just a wasted effort to get it all clean and sparkly. It's a gunite pool. Yeah, it's a gunite pool. That the surface is coated so no matter how hot the sun is, it doesn't burn your feet when you walk around it. it stays cool. And it stays cool too. The water stays cool. I guess I should add a picture of the pool when it was all clear and, and cleaned and we were swimming in it, how it looked. <laughs> It's just really comfortable on a nice day. I'm enjoying my afternoon at just taking it easy. I don't know if you can see all the mess that's on this window again. Those baby frogs just do a number on it. I guess I'll just run out there and clean it again. And this is the way we wash the windows, wash the windows, wash the windows. This is the way we wash the windows in the afternoon. This is the way we clean the spots, clean the spots, clean the spots. This is the way we clean the spots. There's Larry rel relaxing after a hard day. After we got home, he worked in the garden and planted these watermelon seeds. It's 8 o'clock and I missed the sunset, but there's a few pretty clouds up there left. I just want to say I had a very nice day today. I just, for some reason, I enjoyed it a lot more than normal. It was just uh, relaxing this afternoon and building the things this morning was kind of fun. So tomorrow I go back to the eye doctor and see what he's got to say. Hopefully everything is fine. So, have a good evening. God bless. Good night.